Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about one of our least favorite websites on the internet, BuzzFeed. When they're not making inane lists about Los Angeles best bagel spots or making quizzes about your potential celebrity crushes, well, BuzzFeed also likes to dabble in their version of journalism and politics, which really just amounts to them not only pushing left-wing politics and their agendas, but also BuzzFeed likes to try and slander and take down right-wingers and conservatives, people they don't like, like us. This time, there's an article going around where one of BuzzFeed's writers is trying to take down a 14-year-old YouTube girl named Soph. She has been gaining a rather large following by making some very funny and satirical political humor-based videos. And sure, Soph can definitely be considered a little edgy. She even curses and calls out everyone, and she's unapologetic about it too. But this kind of humor used to be championed on YouTube back in the day, but unfortunately for Soph, she's about five or eight years too late to the platform. Back then in the late 2000s or early 2010s, tens, YouTube used to be one of the few places you could find this kind of comedy, this kind of over-the-top edgy humor. Think back to other channels like, say, Filthy Frank, who used to get away with all kinds of lowbrow, degenerate style humor and comedy. But there's a reason Filthy Frank hasn't survived in 2019, and it's mostly because YouTube has really changed for the worse in this arena, especially regarding edgy humor and stuff they try to demonetize. They deplatform and also censor those who do it. Soap has soldiered on with her style of video anyway, though making commentary about things like women's issues, gun control, and even a recent parody with her dressed up like a Muslim woman. As you might have guessed already too, Soph certainly appears to lean towards the right, and she's certainly no fan of political correctness or SJW culture. Smart. But as we've seen before, time and time again, and as I've seen myself sometimes personally, if you're a conservative right-leaning person who speaks out against social justice warriors online, eventually, radical leftists like BuzzFeed, they're going to come after you. And these wild leftists don't plan on playing fair either. Oh no. They're not here to combat you head on in a fair battle of ideas and premises, and they're certainly not going to try and make their own comedy to compete with yours, like some left-leaning comedy trying to be funnier. Hell no. Modern liberals don't need or want to compete fairly because they find it pretty easy to just shut us down and silence our types of channels. Censorship and deplatforming is the latest weapons of the left, and it's being done because they're backed up by the leaders of these companies. And with the case of Soph on YouTube, it really appears they want this girl to lose her channel and all that she's put into it because, well, they just disagree with her and they're offended by her naughty jokes. The BuzzFeed article in question today is called YouTube's newest far-right, foul-mouthed, red-pilling star is a 14-year-old girl with a subtitle that reads, Soph has nearly a million followers on the giant video platform. The site's executives only have themselves to blame. To blame for what though? Sounds like this guy is suggesting Soph should not be allowed to do this on YouTube. And who is this writer anyway? Well, his name is Joseph Bernstein and, as you might have guessed already, He's a Jewish man who hates white people. Shocking. Here's an example of his anti-white racism in action. On Twitter, Bernstein previously said, kill a straight white man on your way to work tomorrow. Well done, buddy. And now he's writing an article attacking Soph, probably in part because she's straight and white as well. But also, apparently he thinks she's far right too, as if that's some sort of crime in itself. It's not, just like how being far left isn't a crime. But I don't even think Soph is that far right wing to begin with. I mean, I mentioned she might be conservative leaning and she's certainly not politically correct or pro-SJW, but as far as being openly far right, I don't know. I doubt it. Hard to say, but I suspect this BuzzFeed writer is just making some shit up in order to try and slander this young star. This type of coverage from BuzzFeed is very different from how they talk about liberal-leaning kids, too. Just look at this comparison between two similar BuzzFeed articles, both covering young kids and their presences online. The first is the SOF article we just saw, which basically says YouTube is to blame for allowing this 14-year-old to make edgy comedy videos which many enjoy. Meanwhile, on the other side of the aisle and this picture, BuzzFeed proceeds to defend Desmond the Amazing, an 11-year-old drag star who they boast about having a pride ad for Converse shoes. I guess the message here is pretty clear, kids. Be careful out there when it comes to BuzzFeed. If you are edgy and not PC enough, they will call for your demise, but if you're liberal and cross-dressing while dancing on a stripper pole, that's A-OK -okay because you're down with their twisted left-wing causes. Absolutely ridiculous. But this is only the beginning. Let's go ahead and finally check out more of that article and see what BuzzFeed has to say. But I gotta warn you, there is some harsh language about to be used in here, so I'm gonna have to cut a few words out and censor this for YouTube. But if you want to check out the entire BuzzFeed article, I linked it below if you need the full context, but it should still make sense. Let's go ahead and check it out. What does a 14-year-old girl dressed in a chador have to say on YouTube to amass more than 800,000 followers? How about this? I've become a devout follower of the Prophet Muhammad. Suffice to say, I've been having a ton of fun. Of course, I 
I get blanked by my 40-year-old husband every so often, and I have to worship a black cube to indirectly please an ancient Canaanite god. But at least I get to go to San Fran and stone the shit out of some gays. And the cops can't do anything about it because California is a crypto caliphate. Or how about simply kill yourself? Yes, if you want a vision of the future YouTube is midwifing, imagine a cherubic white girl mocking Islamic dress while lecturing her hundreds of thousands of followers about Muslim gangs, social justice, and evils wrought by George Soros under the thin guise of edgy internet comedy forever. Actually, don't imagine it. Watch it. It's already here. Well, thank you very much. I will be watching this channel now that you brought it to my attention. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it either. Edgy comedy can be okay. As I've said before, this used to be a staple in internet culture too, especially on YouTube. Only recently have the radical leftists gone all 1984 and Big Brother and made things like this more taboo. What's really wrong with joking around about this stuff anyway? Literally no one is getting hurt by this kid's videos. I actually find them pretty well spoken, especially for a 14 year old. And of course, they're absolutely hilarious. The only problem this BuzzFeed writer actually has here is he can't stand anyone going after his beloved Muslims, a protected class according to modern day Democrats and liberals. I mean, the kid Soph even commented on this in her own video, which was quoted here. She said Muslims can get away with beating gays in San Francisco because California is a crypto caliphate. And then Joseph Bernstein, the writer, well, his ears must have been ringing because he immediately went on to protect the Muslims, at least in his mind, all while doing it at a website called BuzzFeed, which is also based in California. So with that said, you're kind of proving the kid right here, Joe. And what kind of self-respecting Jew bends the knee to Muslims like this anyway? You know that their people want you dead, right, Joe? And finally, for this section, let's not pretend this isn't comedy either. Bernstein says this so-called offensive language is under the thin guise of edgy internet comedy. And I have to say, it's not very thin and it's not a guise at all. This is edgy internet comedy and it's being done right and that's why it's hilarious. And that's why it's getting so popular too. The video is called Be Not Afraid and it may be the clearest manifestation yet of the culture the executives of Alphabet's Video Monster are delivering to millions of kids around the world, now via children incubated in that self same culture. To understand just how bad things have gotten on the platform, you need to see it for yourself. Users and more importantly to YouTube, advertisers have over the past year started to hold the platform accountable for enabling the exploitation of children and exposing them to disturbing content, but this video reveals an entirely different way the platform is harming kids by letting them express extreme views in front of the entire world. This is what indoctrination looks like when it's reflected back by the indoctrinated. A 20 minute unbroken hyper articulate tirade ostensibly about ignoring criticism online, Be Not Afraid stars a high school freshman from the Bay Area who goes by the name Soph on YouTube. She edits as well as scores the videos which she says are comedic. Through videos like these, she's become a rising star with more than 800,000 followers. In the universe of conspiracy theorists, racists, and demagogues that owes its big bang to YouTube. Jesus Christ, dude, get a grip. This girl is just making comedy videos. Quit pretending otherwise. Just because you don't like it and you want her erased from the internet doesn't mean other people like us can't enjoy it. And as for indoctrinating children, I have to turn back to that comparison I made earlier, where BuzzFeed shows its hypocrisy on these issues. Making edgy comedy videos is bad, but making an 11 year old drag queen who does burlesque shows and shakes her butt for dollars, well, that's A-OK, -okay, and it's encouraged even. BuzzFeed was praising Converse for hiring that drag kid and throwing money at her for the Pride ad. But YouTube? They're not even allowed to platform this edgy comedian named Soph. BuzzFeed says that's wrong and it's indoctrination when, really, it's not at all. They're just mad because Soph is funny and getting popular, clearly. Joe Bernstein even acts like he's doing Soph a favor here, like he's concerned this child is ruining her life on YouTube, so BuzzFeed is going to try and ruin her life by writing about how awful she is. What a joke. And not a funny one like Soph's either. The truth is, this is another case of left-wingers going after something that's wildly popular. They can't make or create or get popular themselves, so they just leech and try and tear down things that are already established, like Soph's YouTube channel. The video platform for years has incentivized such content through algorithms favoring sensational videos and, as recent reporting has revealed, has deliberately ignored toxic content as a growth strategy. Whatever toxic means, I think that just means stuff this guy doesn't like. Soph's scripts, which she says she writes with a collaborator are familiar. A mix of hatred towards Muslims, anti-black racism, Byzantine fear-mongering about pedophilia, tissue-thin incel evolutionary psychology, and reflexive misanthropy that could have been copied and pasted from a thousand different 4chan posts. 4chan is another naughty word for these guys. Of course, it's all presented in the terminally ironic style popularized by boundary-pushing comedy groups like the influential Million Dollar Extreme and adopted of late by white supremacist mass shooters at Christ Church in San Diego. Wow, had to bring up white supremacy too. Damn, dude. 
this guy sounds salty as hell too. I almost forgot one of the main reasons Bernstein here is going after Soap. Make no mistake, y'all. It's because she's a white woman. Joe B is an anti-white radical liberal who wants to tear us down every chance he can get. That's why he tweeted about killing white people before. And that's part of why he's trying to deplatform Soap now. As for all this nonsense about the algorithms and YouTube pushing toxic content, please. Stuff gets popular online because people like it. Soph is funny and she makes good points, so she's getting traction on here. And from my experience, being on YouTube since the beginning myself, well, they almost never support edgy comedy or right-wingers at all. Quite the opposite. If anything, YouTube is promoting left-wingers, liberals, social justice warriors, gay activists, trans creators, and other bullshit like that. Really, I think this BuzzFeed writer is just jelly that someone he doesn't like is getting popular. So instead of taking the obvious explanation, people just like her more, he's going to go ahead and make up bullshit about Soph getting promoted unfairly, when really she's not. In the end, we got another BuzzFeed story about them trying to tear down something popular which people like. Why? Because they hate edgy comedy, and they hate wrong thinkers like Soph. If she was making jokes about, say, white people and hating on us, that would be perfectly fine with Joe Bernstein, but now she's ripping on Muslims and minorities, and well, that's a big no-no for the social justice warriors. It's also worth noting that I don't think Soph's comedy comes off as racist or very offensive at all. Sure, it's pushing the line and it is edgy, but anyone with two brain cells to rub together can tell this is all a joke done for laughs. This BuzzFeed writer, on the other hand, he's made his anti-white racism perfectly clear, and it's not been done in a friendly or comedic way at all. It's just blatant, overt bias, and it's the same kind of bias he claims others have, but really, it's this Joe Bernstein guy and BuzzFeed who are the real bigots. What do you guys think? Is so funny? Should she be deplatformed like what BuzzFeed suggests? And do you think she's getting popular because of YouTube bias? Or is it because she's hilarious and people like her? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.